What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a while, like a few months, but we are getting back into it guys. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a health bar on Scratch. So let's just kind of get into it. It's going to be a less than 10 minute tutorial, so it's going to be quick, it's going to be easy. This is probably going to be the easiest way you can find, so just bear with me for the next however many minutes and let's get into it so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a sprite and just call it health bar and once you do that okay i know this is a lot i went ahead and did it because it takes maybe t just a little bit of time like a couple minutes maybe you are going to need for the sake of the tutorial we are just going to be using 10 costumes so the first thing you're going to want to do is create this guy here um, this will be your 10th costume, full health, and then your first is going to be no health. Um, so you're going to have, uh, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a red rectangle, just like this kind of, however long you want it to be, and then you're going to pretty much just duplicate this here, you can copy paste, and then change the color, and then put it on top, and then color it green. And then just duplicate this 10 times. And for each costume, as you get closer to one, you're going to want to sort of change the size of this to go lower and lower and lower and lower and lower until you get to one, which is actually zero health. So take a few minutes, do this, and pause the video. And then when you come back, we will be ready to go. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video if you needed to and by now we should all be ready to work on coding so here's what we're going to do so first things first create a health variable because this is what's going to actually kind of work behind the scenes and do the magic for us and now what we're going to do is we're going to do when fog is clicked and we are going to actually switch to costume one and if if costumes have been done correctly, hopefully, uh, you should, costume one should be zero health right here. Fully red, I know mine says health one, it's the same thing. So you should have this, all right? And I'm gonna show you why. Why are we going to health one rather than full health from the start? So you'll see. So real quickly, now we're gonna do this and go and get costume number so we are going to switch costume once you get costume number over here go over here to operators and grab the subtraction or the minus and drag it right here so what we are going to do is we are going to switch our costume to costume number minus one all right and now this should take you to the last costume and you're probably wondering why are we doing this as opposed to just you know switching to health 10 well here's why this is more efficient and more time saving let's say down the line you want more than 10 health or you want less than 10 health total and you start creating or decreasing the amount of costumes you have well you're gonna have to go and change this every time you do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set health to costume number because now what it's doing is setting our health to however many costumes we have so it's gonna set our health to 10 so this is just a more efficient and automatic way to update how much health you you know have in total and okay so the next thing we're gonna do now that we have our health figured out we are gonna go to control and we are gonna get our forever block. And we're gonna say forever, and we are gonna switch our costume to health. There we go. And, okay. So, now, whatever, you know, health is, assuming it's, you know, less than or equal to the amount of costumes you have. Um, so let's say we, health is five, then it's gonna change the costume to costume number five, you know? So now go to my blocks and we are gonna say, we are gonna do decrease health 
And before we create our block, what we are going to do is we're going to add an input. We're going to do a number or text input. And we are going to call this decrement. Okay? So, nope, not a Boolean. Decrement. So, what this is, a decrement is pretty much the number that you're decreasing something by. You know? Whereas, like, an increment is what you're increasing something by. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say decrease health and we are going to change health and we aren't changing it by decrement and here's why if we were to change it by decrement what we would have to do is we would say decrease health minus five you know which i know it's not a super big deal but it's not super fun to always do like minus five or minus seven you know it makes sense to just put decrease by five and if we were to do that, instead of decreasing, it would actually increase our health by five. So here's what we can do to fix that. What we can do is we can actually do this. So go back to operators and grab the subtraction. And what we're gonna do is instead, we're gonna change our health by, and then put decrement in there. So essentially you would decrease health by the negative or minus decrement. <laughs> So instead, now we can actually put decrease health positive five, and it's now gonna change it, you know, negative. So instead of increasing, it's decreasing. So it just sort of makes it a little more, I don't know, it just kind of makes it, it just makes a little more sense to do it that way. So now that you have your decrease health, um, all you might want to do is maybe do an increase, in which case, you would just do the same thing, only just, you know, change it by decrement. Uh, or increment in the increase case. <laughs> so really what you would do is you would make it increase health, increment, and then you would change it by the increment. Um, so, yeah. Now you guys should have your health bar system. It's ready to use, and you guys are good to go. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And thank you guys for all the support you've been showing. And if you guys need help with anything, feel free to comment and I'll definitely look into it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.